Hello Pokemon fans, Draspy here. Today we're going to be doing another live anime review reaction thing. So this will be um, edited for your convenience to get rid of any audio issues that come up or tech issues that come up during the stream. So you will be getting a slightly revised version, not because I'm cutting out anything so much as trying to fix issues for your viewing pleasure. So without further ado, let's just get into the actual show. Okay, we are at the beach. Statement of fact. Oh yeah, by the way, I started it like... I don't know, maybe 10, uh, three, two, one, 10 seconds ago. There we go. After school one day, Isatoshi has come to the beach to watch Sura and Inasha Mari practice. And then there is a rollet. And then we are just narrow. Oh my gosh. Okay. I swear Nintendo is watching the fan art. Oh my goodness. Just kidding. There isn't anything that bad for those of you who haven't watched it. And speaking of which, if you haven't watched it or aren't watching it now, you should really watch it. I mean, dang. Okay, yeah, okay, here's a question I have about Popolo's balloons. It's like, how does that even work? I mean, dang, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, just hovering. How? No, it's just, that doesn't work. I'll, I'll tell you that. It doesn't work. And what is your dream? I mean, are you, uh, me next, yeah, well, yeah, 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 no, no, you can't get in there. Here's the thing. It is like a magical balloon that just holds Popolo and hovers a certain distance from the ground until it wants it to pop, because all we saw it do is flinch and all of a sudden fell down. Uh, that's just so... Oh, there's Rock Ruff. You look sick. Okay, roll it seriously looks like it's ill most of the time. It's like how it's going to evolve, it's going to like die and then become a ghost, and that's going to be roll its ghost decidue. I, I, I don't know, it's just disturbing at some points. It really, really is. Okay, let's see what you got there. Ooh, that's that's nice. Um, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not going to end well. Ow. Yeah, ooh. Oh, that does not look good. Oh, man. Ow. Ooh, okay, well, um... Aside from the fact that this is an unrealistic balloon that can now carry two Pokemon and they're now bouncing all around. Oh, this... Yeah, um, I really don't know what the limitations of this balloon is, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe the balloon shouldn't put Poplio in Super Smash Bros. Wait, what? Oh, dang. Someone's seeing red. By red, I mean murder. Oh, dang. Well, this is the first time I've seen her on like that. Is, no, 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 yeah, whatever. Oh, switch. Oh, yep. We have a psychopath on our hands. Okay, that's 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 really nice. I I just really wanted a psychopath on my hands. That's totally what I wanted. Oh yes, that balloon does not. Oh gosh, what the heck? Okay, yeah. Okay, if you're gonna tell me at any point that Rollet did not somehow puncture that balloon, it's not gonna. Yeah, whatever, Rollet. You're. It's all your fault. So just. <sighs> Rollet. Yeah, look. Okay, now Rollet punctures the balloon. But yeah, what I what I like about this animation though is well, these Pokemon are falling because I I'm really just not happy about this moment. Let's talk about something I like about the animation. So what I do like about the animation is even though it's arguably simpler it they do put a lot of little detail into the reactions so there is that it's 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 nice because it's like oh it's really simple so then when you see the little lines and the little details and the little effects it makes it so much better because here's the thing if you have a super detailed animation and then you try to go even more detailed for the reactions it just doesn't seem to have the same effect and it makes it feel kind of handcrafted because you have I mean, I'm not sure what technique they use for this, but it just seems to have that effect. Oh, dang. Bam. Oh, that, yeah, that, that isn't going to work out very well. <laughs> oh, boy. At first I thought they were, like, trying to put a vault door on there, but it doesn't look like much of a vault door. Oh, parabola antenna. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> what the heck? How did that get on? Oh, Rollet. Oh boy. I'm, yeah. Here's the thing, though. 
I don't really like the Pokemon episodes that are just exclusively Pokemon running around. Because one, you can't understand anything. I mean, seriously. Can you understand a single thing they say? Hyode used Spike Spike Cannon. Don't you mean Poison Sting? Or is that actually Spike Cannon? Okay, whatever. I think the point, though, is that it's... Uh, it just, it really doesn't work to me. When you have this, uh, the Pokemon running, oh, Mimikyu, 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 Mimikyu. We need to talk about you one day. But regardless, I don't like the Pokemon exclusive episodes. They just, <clears throat> they irk something in me because they feel like it's filler, but they're like, how can we make this filler most appetizing in the cutest way possible? I know, we'll fill it with this. I like the fillers where it's like, hey, let's go on the side quest, but no. We have this really bad filler going on. The Pokemon exclusive adventures are just bad filler, in my opinion. And by Pokemon exclusive, I mean the actual po What the heck, Bob? Why are you bouncing Rollet? Are you just trying to keep it... Oh, dang. They look evil. Dang. Okay. That's... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We went after them. Wop. <laughs> oh, boy. I wonder if I... Are, do Jesse and James look better in the... Oh, shoot. Karagamu. 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 Don't know what to say about it. Okay. <laughs> Roll it's going to be like just completely... You know, knowing how things work. Oh. Yep. Something went wrong. Oh, that, that, um... Ooh. I wonder if they both learned rollout. Because that's what they just did. Okay, yeah, whatever. Ooh, Meowth and Mirane. Okay, considering Mirane is, uh, uh... I wish Meowth had a New York accent in the Japanese anime, too. That would just make it funny. Oh, that went... That was a very different style that just happened there. If you just saw that, the grass close-up made it... Reminded me for some reason of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know why. Oh, shoot, it's lit. Ooh. We're gonna see what happens. Cat fight! <laughs> Super epic background. <laughs> yeah, uh, this isn't gonna end well. Um. Oh, dang. That, uh. Wow. Well, I guess that hap what happens, Meowth, when you don't level up. I mean, seriously. If Meowth has you. Oh, dang. Oh, gosh. What is Litton doing? Litton's, like, assaulting him. <laughs> uh, you know, Litton, have you ever learned that when something's stuck on someone's neck, you shouldn't grab it and just start yanking on it? I mean, you should try to find a tool that you can use to cut it, and your teeth usually don't work, even if you're a, some sort of super loved and hated starter Pokemon. I don't know. I really don't know what. Just, just, just ignore that last bit. Okay, this looks like a Greek city. I'm going to be perfectly honest. It looks like a Grecian city to me. Um, oh, dang. What's 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 up with this? Yep, it's Meowth. We all knew it's Meowth. Meowth. Meowth never... That's what they need to... Okay, forget Ash getting a girlfriend. At, Meowth needs to evolve. Seriously, though. That needs to be like the final episode of Pokemon. Meowth evolves. Oh, look. It's Stoutland. <laughs> Ew. Why isn't this the old Pokemon Moonlight? That was a Nayabi. See, 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 see. They need to. They need to narrate it. Why? Because otherwise we wouldn't know what the heck is going on. We'd all be like, uh. And now they're they're like, okay, let's just add some narration here, and then people can actually understand what's going on. <sighs> wow, that was awfully simple. What's Stoutland gonna do? You know, if I was if I was Stoutland, I would I would just you know eat it because it's food and you know you need food, right? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Like, oh, I see what's going on here. What did it just lick it and figure out its thoughts? That's odd. Very odd. <laughs> oh, Linton. 
Litton, 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 Litton. You're just so funny that way. Okay, so basically the strat is they're going to go send them back to where they came from. Nope, no flying because of that. Why don't you take it off, you big dog? <sighs> Here, here's a really good strategy, Pablo. Why don't you go swim in that river? There's a river there. You can swim in that river. Look, big river. Go swimming in the river. The river probably leads to the ocean. Hey. Stop abusing it. The poor bird is already dying, probably. Constricted neck flow. Yeah, look. Walking. Hmm. Walking seems like a good idea. And Lytton doesn't want it. Oh, Popular X Litton. <laughs> Maybe. What genders are they? I mean, not that that matters for the purposes of this, but I'm just wondering, you know. Or are they non gender? I'm mainly curious about what genders they are because I've never thought about it before. Cause, but until, until they ship, then you need to know whether you're going to put it, what category of shipping you're going to be putting it in. Trust me, this is not for any purposes other than that. Anyway. I'm, I'm just wondering, because they, they both seem kind of neutral. To be honest, both the Pokemon... Actually, to be honest, I, I really don't know what any of the Pokemon... Like, even Pikachu could be a female, for all I'm concerned. With the exception of the fact that it doesn't have the little uh, heart tail thing, which is typical of that type of gender. And, I mean, then again, if you think about it, all the Butterfree during the Butterfree mating scene in Generation 1 were technically male... But that was also before the gender mark was made, so we can't really distinguish that. I mean, back then it was like, oh, it's a pink butterfree, so it's female, right? Actually, that might have been back when the... Okay, I am getting on a huge tangent. Makuro sleeps in there. Oh, that is disgusting. You let your little owl sleep in your backpack? What happens when it takes a dump? Mmm. That is... Oh. Gross. Yeah, okay, yeah, go go follow the owl droppings. Oh. Mm, I'm not so much disgusted that they're following that scent. Really smart idea. I'm more so disgusted that you let it use your backpack as a freaking nest. What happens when that thing evolves into a freaking ghost bird? Is it going to possess Ash's soul and then leave its spiritual droppings in there? <sighs> That's... It's finally falling. Oh, for some reason I feel like Team Rocket is a bunch of children and then that Kyogamu is like their parent. It's always keeping them out of trouble. Okay, they're gonna start wandering the city. What? Why did you put it in the water? That's... Isn't it gonna go faster than you? Yep, this is not gonna end well. See, look, it's going faster than them, so by the time we know it, they're gonna be running. Why don't they all go in the water? I mean, Popular could just make one giant bubble... They could take the water bubble fairy the thing, whatever, to where they need to go, pop it, and get out. I mean, sure, maybe Litton might have little issues, but, you know, Rollet can fly, Litton could maybe grab on, I don't know. That's, okay, that's, yeah. Why does Rollet need to be contained? I mean, seriously. I know it's kind of a stupid Pokemon, but, and now you're just letting random people touch it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, what happened to the switch going off in her head? Because, I mean, you'd think that there'd be some sort of timer attached to it before she starts, like, attacking people and demanding answers, but nope. So they're just kind of wandering around and like, oh, man, it's getting late, you know? Guess I forgive you for that. Yeah. Psh. Okay, that's... Ooh, they're in the bad part of town now. You can tell because there are broken windows. Either that or there was recently a window smashing competition. Although I'm going to go with the fact that there are a bunch of criminals hanging out and whatnot. Oh, Rockruff. Rockruff, you can smell... A oh, oh, this makes so much sense now. The bubble was actually their doom because they put the bubble around it. Water actually stops a dog's sense of smell. And then... Ooh, yes, I love this. I love, I actually love this Team Rocket mode, motto. We'll skip the rest. What a great, yep. Okay. Du -du -du. Yeah, but okay. Great job, Team Rocket. You did a good job. Now stop, stop gloating and getting out, get out of here. Because, like, ser seriously, you could easily win this one. But all that aside, there is one little important thing. Um, 
about all of this. Just, just putting this all in perspective. They put it in a water bubble, so that blocked Rockruff's scent. That actually makes sense now, but... All that aside, so even though that was not their saving grace, because they couldn't smell the super smelly owls dropping through the bubble... Um... What do we do? Try to be here. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh... <laughs> oh, Rollet, they just abuse it. You know, that's, that's why Rollet needs to become a ghost type, because then normal type attacks, like, slap you in the head, don't work. And then it can sleep in peace, eternally. Oh, that, yeah, that, that didn't end very well. Hey, how come the fire didn't cut through? Okay, yes, I totally shipped Popular and Litten now. Popular and Litten, totally shipped. Totally shipped, totally shipped, totally shipped. Yes, Popular and Litten are a thing. I mean, dang, you might say what you want to say, but Popular and Litten are a thing. Okay. Yes, yes. What What's going on? What's wrong with Wapafet and such? What, what What's going on? What's going on, Meowth? What, what? What? It sacrifices itself and the world for the sake of the weak. It fights every a day to continue on. That's... Oh, that is. That's oh. Oh, what? You're letting them go? What? That's that's not even. That's not how it works. That's not. Popio used. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what that was. What's wrong with Litton? Okay, I can't understand what you're saying, Litton. Dang it! I I really hate this. At least we have Meowth. Yes, Litton's gonna join them. What? Litton's joining Team Rocket? What? Yep, I knew it. Wasn't gonna listen. Wasn't gonna listen. What did Team Rocket expect? I mean, had they maybe made a deal and been like, okay, you can all come out, that would have made sense. What the heck? Is that like a Z move? No, that doesn't work. Okay, fire... Okay, yeah, pop... Fire popped the bubbles. I know heat expands the air inside and whatnot, but... Uh, uh, this. Oh, yay, their first blast off. This is a landmark. I'd rather have a second victory, but hey, their first blast off in the Lola region. Making progress, guys. First victory, first blast off. Next thing we know, you can have your first utter defeat. Oh wait, that's happened already. Multiple times. <sighs> I mean, seriously, why why couldn't you like try to knock out the Pokemon once you catch them? Oh, that happened really easily. See, people, that's why we have opposable thumbs, because then things like this work easier. Okay, Whew. yep. What's that sounded like Litten, dun dun dun, Litten, dun dun dun, or Niabi, dun dun dun, Niabi, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to continue that. Well, that was with the Mooland. Mooland? What? What's a Mooland? Anyway, goodbye, Litten. Goodbye, Litton. Goodbye, Litton. See you in a while before Ash eventually catches you. Because you see, okay, Litton's. Litton won't be caught by Ash right now. I know that. However, this is easily building up to when he will catch Litton eventually. Because Litton's goal is to get stronger. And we all know that, that, uh, that trainers with Pokemon is how things happen. So what could happen is actually that, um,. Uh, oh, what's its name? Mooland is what they called it, which is making me... Stoutland! Yeah, Stoutland could die. Shh. Goodbye, Litton. That right, ran off, so she's that okay? Yeah, it's really strong little... It's a really strange little guy. We'll meet again! Yep, he's gonna catch it. Boom, I knew that already. Um, no need to brag. We all knew that. If you guys have been watching this channel, been any sort of credit into me, 
we all knew that this was going to happen. Okay, this is the end of their little filler adventure in which Satoshi and Niabi will meet again. They will be caught. Anyway, I'm just going to cut out of this episode once we see the little trailer deal, because that's nice. Oh, and Team Rocket, of course, is going to land right back where they started. Right, oh, right into the grasp of the thing. Okay, well, that's that. Looks like Pokemon episode is over. Yay, the episode is over. So, what do we talk about now? Oh, gosh. It was a good episode. I will, I will say that right now. It was a good episode in the fact that it added more confirmation that Ash will catch Litten. Eventually. It might take forever, but probably around episode 25 it will happen. Aside from that, I, I have no idea. It's, it's anybody's guess. This episode was just a bunch of filler and it teached us why Pokemon are stupid without trainers. So hey, maybe with the combination of learning why Pokemon are indeed kinda idiots when they don't have trainers around, even though some of them may be noble-hearted, such as Litten, they do need a trainer in the end, and maybe Stoutland will die, because it's pretty old. I think it's pretty cool, though, that it has that kind of psychic lick thing going on, where it licks something and it knows what's going on. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but it works. So, anyway, that's just my thoughts on this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a like, comment, blah, 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 whatever. Do whatever you want. I'm having a good day. I'm going to move on to my next video, because that's what's important right now. Anyway, peace out. Bye.